OK to do something uh, we have uh, I use a while loop this will be an endless loop actually not endless because we will break it uh, if we want and we define it two variable uh, first the tmpx this will be a random uh, uh, as you should know this already this generates random numbers I already did a tutorial about that and we use the modulus sign modulus sign to get uh, the scope what do uh, what numbers do do I want so because this is the X I move the max uh, max uh, with I use the max width and I increase by one so we avoid the zero similarly to tmpy uh, which is si a random number as well but we use the height and we add plus one okay now uh, I have to just check that is it collide with uh, anything so for I equal zero I less than uh, make the size I plus plus in this case I already checked that is it inside the snake if it is so then we have a problem right then we have a problem okay so if snake I dot x equal to x and snake y dot uh, oh that snake i dot y uh, equals to oh not x tmpx i call tmpx and here tmpy okay then we have a problem so we continue okay you should already know what continue is it just simple comes back here so the start of the function and start it over again uh, generate two new num uh, random numbers and uh, yeah generate two new random numbers then check it over again okay and now I use an if to check that is it greater than uh, than it should be okay so T and P if t and p x is greater or greater or equal than max width minus two or so you remember this is the logical or not the binary or bitwise or or t and p y is greater or equal than max height minus three we use the minus 3 because uh, we have a uh, empty line here we it starts from 0 and we increase by 1 then we continue again so we generate two new random numbers okay and uh, if none of these are true the food is in the in a good place so food.x equal to tmpx and food.y equals to tmpy okay and just refresh the screen so we can see the actual food oh we cannot see the actual food we have to uh, write out first so sch foo okay this write out the food to random places now we can uh, compile the program in theory so try to compile it and uh, try to put a semicolon uh, somewhere here what it should be an if what is it okay I'm getting old now this is what I wanted uh, that was a little stupid mistake I will uh, look back the video I I am curious what I did while, when I did that what I did 
okay that's definitely not what we need okay something go bad really really bad okay let me see oh I know what is it uh, actually uh, first we don't move so yeah it has a bunch of mistakes first of all uh, it should be a, uh, there is a break here so break and that should be the end of the while loop so here this is the end of the while loop and this and we have to move to the correct position so move food.y food.x okay now it will uh, break if it is find a good uh, x and y coordinate and uh, and then move to the correct uh, position because we didn't okay and uh, put a chart there and refresh the screen now I feel that it will work okay okay now it is here if I start the program this is here start the program here okay as you can see it's always another position and that is exactly what we want okay the next thing I think should be the collision because it is very simple and yeah it is a lot of fun to write it so bool make class oh two uh, column and collision okay this will simple check a bunch of collision first of all we check that uh, is it out of the bones of the screen if so then we have a collision so if nick 0.x so uh, if the first part of the snake so the head of the snake if you like more uh, is equal to 0 so we are here to the and we go through this uh, mm, sense or I don't know this edge or we use the logical or snake 0 dot x equals to max width minus 1 so if we are here so the other side or with the head of the snake or if snake 0 dot y equals to 0 so if we are here up uh, the upper edge or snake 0 dot y equal to max height oh it doesn't write okay so max height minus 2 minus 2 because we have a line where the points are and later we can uh, improve it so there will be lives for example free lives or something doesn't really matter so if one of these are true then both will be true so so this if will be re uh, returned with the true so yeah uh, we return from this function with true so there is a collision now we have to check that is the snake collide with itself we simple uh, check it the uh, very simple way go through the entire snake and check that is it the head equal to another coordinates in the snake okay it is a very bad explanation but I show you and I hope it makes sense for you so we just uh, start from zero because obviously uh, we don't want to check that uh, uh, the head of the snake is itself uh, of the head uh, obviously I think that makes sense we don't want to check the snake one because that simple cannot collide because you cannot make uh, so big uh, a turn that uh, you would go to the next so the first element uh, I show you better okay so this is the snake 
uh, I think uh, this is the head I think or that never mind one of the head okay I think no mm, yeah, no that well, one of them is the head for example that and you want to check that if these elements coordinates are the same then this 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 so this or this or this and if so we return with true because there is a collision uh, logical reason it cannot be same as this because you cannot uh, turn so much with uh, this uh, head object to collide with uh, this x or or even this because yeah simple logic you cannot do that okay i hope you i hope that it, it makes sense for you we go until we uh, reach the end of the snake so snake dot size <coughs> okay and simple we add one to it so we go through the snake simple enough then in here actually we don't need that we just simple check it that snake zero so the head the dot x coordinate is equal to the food dot x uh, n snake so the head oh this is not it is hash mark it's not n sign and snake zero dot y equals to food dot y then we return re return with true so true okay i hope it makes sense for you we always check that if the head coordinates equal to the what i think uh yeah not food what about the food we will check food later but not now so not i so sorry about that okay no this is zero and this is make zero now we will make that what i want so i hope this is makes sense for you Th so first we check that if the x coordinate of the head of the snake is equal to the actual part so we check all of the pa all of the parts and if if one of them this is true and the y coordinate is true then we have a collision i hope it makes sense if no just uh, you know think about it okay and we have to check that we have a collision with the food uh, this is very simple check we just uh, check with the food x this is what i have associated here so yeah okay so snake zero and dot x equal food dot a, uh, food dot x and uh, snake zero point y is oh snake zero dot y equal the food dot y so i hope this is makes sense <laughs> for you so if the head is equal to the food coordinates then we have a collision obviously then we have to uh, do a few things so uh, make the get equals to true so yeah as i said this get variable is indicate that do we have a collision with the food if so then we don't delete the last part of the snake and so the snake will be longer with one uh, uh, character okay we obviously have to put uh, another food or oh, too much oh okay so we uh, generate a new uh, random number and put a new uh, food obviously we increase the points variable with 10 uh, obviously because we get uh, food so we have more points I hope this is obvious and actually write these points out so move to the max height minus one and we move the zero so we move the last row uh, first character simple enough okay uh and we just simple uh, 
print it. So print w 